I bought this little Korabai in the market yesterday. Uh, I was just enthralled by the colours, the leaves, the shape and just the general beautifulness of it. So I'm going to do a quick painting and it will be fairly quick and fairly fluid. I mean, it's not a botanical one as always. What I've done, I'm using a limited palette of sap green, ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson and these are the sort of colours I've come up with. So I'm going to put that to the side where I can see it. It will be slightly in your view and let's see how we can get on. It's going to be make it up as you go along I think. So I'm using a, what's that, a number eight and I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to give myself a very light but rough oval shape. And I'm just adding water just so I don't get too many harsh lines. You see how the leaves come out the top but there's also where she's tidied it up as she's got it out the ground. So I'm going to just have a a little bit there and a little bit because we can then see it. And I'm going to drop more colour in. There's been a leaf or something cut off there so let's just do that and then what happens is there's a leaf coming out there and there's one coming there and there's one at the back which comes sort of there and then there's things coming out the middle so I'm just making a rough rough shape that's a bit thick no it's not actually that's okay okay so let's just drop some more color in because it's gorgeous This might be a, a painting in two parts because of wanting bits to dry maybe. But let's just come, let's have a look at these leaves, see what they do. Um, we can have the front and the back, it really doesn't matter. So let's just make that a little bit more. Should have started it further down. It's not quite proportion, but it doesn't matter. Just put a few veins in. Change brush if you want. It's quite a nice point on this brush, so I don't really need to. See how I'm resting my little finger on the paper so I don't smudge what I've done. I should have gone this side first. Again, don't make the the veins too, they're a bit willowy, aren't they? They're a bit sort of super, super even. Just add a few funny ones. As I say, this is just going to be a little sketch. I didn't time it, which would be helpful. Just in case. Now, I need more of the purpley colour. Always mix enough paint, dear listener. But it really is a beautiful dark colour. But in, in some places it's more red. So you could sort of separate your colours a little bit. And I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna worry about this preciseness. This is a an experimenting colour. Ah, oh, they're gorgeous. But it does want a bit more red in places, so I've just gone straight to the red. There we go. Just drop it in. And while that's still fairly damp, I'm making it up a bit now. In fact, I am going to change brush. I'm just going down a notch to a seven. Oops. Uh, 
and there's little there's these charming little curly ones in the in the, the middle can you see those And I'm putting extra colour in places just because I want to. God, that is so beautiful. Right, I'm going now to go a little bit crazy and I'm going back to the big brush and I'm going to look at these leaves. They've got lots of holes in, lighter on that side than that side, but they're all over the place so then you know it doesn't matter so I'm going to the colour I have mixed and I'm just going to some in and we can remember we can add and mess about with these things as much as we like and I really rather fancy just just to give a little and uh, let's put it oh no we can't do that but just to add a little bit of sort of texture this frostiness almost like frosty frostiness there Colour's not too bad. It may be a little bit blue. But hopefully it is enough to let the person looking at it understand what they're looking at. I'm even going to take a bit of the purple and drop it in as well. Let's make that just a, a, a thin one because I don't want to spoil the view of seeing everything else. And just add a little bit more. In fact, I'm making that quite purpley there. And I'm going to add I'm going to add more purple because I don't I don't want the, the veins to be that precise. But again I'm gonna just it's a little bit too solid. It's interesting if you play around with things and just see what what comes about. So let's just make the edges a little bit more precise. I like this really sort of frilly edge. Need more paint, need more paint. Get too excited. Too green in comparison. And that just make it a little bit more solid. That might be enough. I just want more purple. I want to run some of these veins in and I want them to bleed. Crazy, crazy, but I love it. I 
I'm just a colour monster. So I think that works really well because it's not precise and look how you can see I mean if you look you can see how the colour goes up into the into the leaves and you've got that sort of wonderful mauvey purpley tint to the green so I think that's rather nice you might think otherwise but Right, let's just make a bit more of that one. Oh, can we introduce another little spur? This is where, this is where the magic is, my friends. Play with it. Now, I think that is absolutely gorgeous. And that took, oh, probably 10, 15 minutes. I'll know when I've done the, the editing. But I like that. Do I want to lift any more out? Let's just have a little look. You know, it's knowing when to stop, isn't it? Just to get that. enough and I just want to make more of the the frilliness on these look at that these leaves let's just make a little bit more let's just have a wobbly hand because then that gives even you see that's too smooth the the person looking at it it's more information for them to make a choice of what it is enough know when to stop well there you go my friends i hope you enjoyed that uh, as much as i did painting it and i hope to see some of your paintings as well whatever enjoy your painting